Hello, I'd like to welcome you to our tour of a celebration of quilting in Canada, a virtual Quilt Canada conference. My name is Carol McCarville, and I am the executive director of CQA ACC, the Canadian Quilters Association. First off, if you have registered for the event, you will receive an email with your username and password in which you can log into the site. Your email will look like this one, except it'll have your name, of course, and you'll notice that it um, gives you your virtual event portal access and it says Quilt Canada Conference. If I scroll down, you'll see your username and password. The other thing you should note is if you've registered for the conference, by June 10th, you will receive your email from Feedloop to enter the site on June 15th. If you have registered after June 10th until the cutoff of registration on June 15th at 3 p.m., you will receive your login email the morning of June 16th. So please be aware of that. If you do not receive your login email, either of those two dates, please contact Janet, our registrar, and she will help you out. So once you log in, you will be into the lobby area of our website. So I'm going to click on the lobby here. Okay, you'll notice there's a number of tabs on the left hand side, and these will be of interest to you during the conference. We've also in the lobby placed a number of um, boxes down below here in which you um, are some more familiar terms for our attendees at Quilt Canada. Um, so I'll be showing you how to access the different areas of our conference website. So let me scroll back up here. Okay, so let's begin the tour. So once you've logged in, you should see your name up here. And first off, your first time logging in, you might want to go to your account. And in here, you'll see your information. Now I am listed as an exhibitor. You'll be listed as a attendee. And one thing you can do is change your password to one that's more familiar to you. Make sure you follow the instructions here. 10 characters requires a number and a capital letter. Um, you might also want to add a picture of yourself, which will appear on the site if someone chats with you or that. Um, there are some other items that you can fill in here. If you choose, they are not required. Okay, so once you do that, um, let's go back to the lobby for a second. Okay, so there's a couple things I want to point out here. We have a welcome message from our president, Jane Kramer. So to play that, you can just scroll down and click the, the arrow. I'm not going to play it now, but you're welcome to play it once you enter. Jane has a little message for you. Also, um, as I alluded to just a few minutes ago, we have boxes here in which um, during the conference they will be active. Right now we are still building the site, so some of them are not engaged yet, but I wanted to explain them to you so you will realize what they do. So first off, we have some wonderful daily door prizes, which I'm sure you've seen in the advertisements or on our website. And each day there will be different draws. So each day, you must click on this box to enter here. You will be taken to another screen and you will be asked to enter your full name, your telephone number, and your email. It is a private area that only I will be accessing and you must have your name, your phone number, and your email address entered in by 5 45, sorry, 6.45, sorry, 6.45 p.m. Eastern Time on the day of the draw. We'll be doing the draw right after that, and the winner will be announced at whichever event is on that day, which starts at 7 p.m. on the platform. 
So again, you must enter every day because once the draw has taken place, there will be a new draw put in for the next day after the evening event. So starting around 8.30 p.m. each evening, there will be a new sheet put up, so to speak. You will come back and you can click on Daily Door Prize Enter here again for the next day's draw. And that will continue all four days of the conference, June 16th through the 19th. You will be contacted directly by CQA if you have won the prize and the, the prizes will be shipped to you. Or if it's a machine, it might be, uh, you might pick it up at the dealer closest to your house. That will be determined and we will let you know. Okay, so that's the first thing to be aware of. Secondly, I know a lot of quilters like to visit the Merchant Mall at our in-person Quilt Canada's. And we have a great Merchant Mall here virtually for you. There are 95 booths, one of those being the CQA booth. So stop in and say hi if you're in the mall. Many of the merchants will be doing daily show specials or will be presenting um, some presentations in their booth, which will be free of charge. So they might be product knowledge type things, demos, and that type of thing that you might see at an in-person merchant mall. So um, if you want to enter the Merchant Mall, you have two ways of doing it. You can click on this button here, or you can go over here to Exhibit Hall. Either one will take you to the Merchant Mall. So let's go there now. So I've clicked on Merchant Mall, and now the main Merchant Mall area is opening. This um, diagram will be uh, completed later this week and it'll have all the booths here. But as you can see now, some of them have been filled in. And if you want to enter a booth of a um, company or a shop that you know of that you wanna see, you can just click on the booth to go there. But in addition, um, you and also you can move the booth around if you this diagram around not the booth but the diagram and that and um, so that's uh, another feature of the site in addition instead of using the booths to click on all the shops and the companies that are in our merchant mall <clears throat> are listed alphabetically here along the um, border of the diagram so you can scroll down alphabetically if you're looking for a particular shop or you can just enter each shop and go along the list. In addition, there is a search function. So if um, the vendors have put in keywords, you can search them. So if I search long arm and then I enter, I've got three shops now that are showing long arm. So that's a good thing for you. If you really want to hone in on one service or one product, then you can use the, the uh, search function to do that. Okay. So, um, let me get rid of long arm. I want to see all the shops. Okay. So now I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to take you to the CQA booth some of the booths the vendors are still creating so i don't want to go in there so here's the cqa booth but all the other merchant booths will be very similar in format so let's use the cqa booth as an example now first off you'll notice that the name of the company or the organization in our case is here and there's a little tagline to tell you about it but also you will see um, connections to an email address the website if they have social media, you will have connections to their Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you know, whatever they have. Also, you can send um, an email request for information and that will go to the booth manager to their email and then they can contact you back. The other function, which I'll talk about more in a minute, is the join live, which is the live video system within the booth. So let me continue on and then I'll come back to that. So below the links to the website and social media, etc., you will see a listing of the representatives that will be in the booth. Now, all of these representatives might not be in all at the same time. 
but you can chat, which is a written chat with any of these people and they'll pick up the chat, uh, the written chat once they see it and they can respond to you and then you can respond. So there is this chat function on the um, website. So if I wanna start a chat with Linda Lake, I will send a private message. Hi, Linda. And then I'll start a chat. She hasn't been set up yet. So normally when I start chat, it'll be sent to her. So we'll just leave that for now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's an example of starting a chat, although it's not functional right at the moment. It will be when you come to the conference. And some of the booths will have documents available for you to download. They might be flyers. They might be informational documents. Here we have um, an archive, a historical um, shot of our newsletters and magazines. Now, when you click on any of the PDFs, it'll ask you um, for information. I've already done it, so it's given me permission. But basically what'll happen is, um, the first time you click on that PDF, sorry, um, it'll open another screen that asks you um, if you have anything, that, you know, request information or, and what'll happen is the person uh, at the booth that's the manager will get an email saying that you've asked for it, but it'll give you immediately, immediate access to the document. But it also lets the booth know who's been asking for information so they can follow up if you have any further questions. Okay, and then below that is um, an area of text in which the company or organization can write whatever they'd like. Um, what our booth has and what I've suggested to other vendors is in this area that they put when they will have re representatives in their booth live, so to speak. Um, many of our vendors are coming from different time zones. All of our times are in Eastern time zone, Toronto time. Uh, however, we have some on the West Coast, some on the East Coast, uh, etc. So they'll be in different time zones. So I think it, it, it's uh, unlike a in-person event, it would be unfair to expect a West Coast merchant to be up at 6 a.m. to be here in the booth if they don't choose to do so. So I've asked them and suggested that they put the times that they will have somebody in the booth. Um, obviously, I wouldn't expect that any of them will have them over midnight, but you can still visit the booth. It's just nobody will be there live from the, the um, booth staff. However, you can leave messages, you can do chats and all of that. So just keep all that in mind with the virtual event. It's a little bit different than a live in-person event. So we will have representatives from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. So then you know if you're searching around in the Merchant Mall during that time and you want to have a live chat with someone, they will be in the booth. Maybe not all the people listed, but at least one will be in the booth. So now I'm going to talk about the join live. This is the video function right now because it's early on and we're still not live in the event. This function is not functional. However, it's an important function in these booths. So if you have um, a product talk or a demo that you want to attend at a certain time, which will be listed in another area, which I'll show you in a few minutes, you can press the join live. That'll take you into a video screen where you can watch and interact with the um, booth staff, whatever they are doing. So maybe they're giving a talk, maybe they're showing a demo, maybe they're even giving a little workshop. These are all free. But the caveat here is this video function only allows a total of 25 people. That's just how the platform is. So be aware that if a vendor has listed a particular time, you might want to join a few minutes early because once the limit of 25 people is reached, you will not be able to join until somebody leaves the audience. These are all free, first come, first serve type of thing. But many of the vendors are having the same uh, demos and talks several times during the course of the event. So if you didn't get into it the first time, maybe a second or third time. So keep that in mind. It's a great function for a virtual event where you get to actually 
see people live on video, uh, much like a Zoom, but it isn't Zoom, it's the Feedloop uh, platform. Okay, so um, I the only other thing in the booth that I will mention is there's a chat function over here, which is a public exhibitor chat. So with this chat, um, if you type in a question, a comment here, it'll come up on the screen and I'm going to type one in, I guess, just for fun. I'll say hi and I'm going to enter it. It's going to come up here. It's going to show who said hi and it's going to say if they're an attendee or an exhibitor. So everybody who enters the booth is going to see this chat. Okay, so that's public. This is a private chat here down here and that follows you wherever you go because you can privately chat with other people in the um, event, which if you have friends, whatever, you can have private chats about what you're seeing and doing, maybe share with a friend, a booth you've gone in, a special deal you see, or maybe something about the quilt shows, whatever you want, that'll be private. Okay, let me go back to the lobby now. Okay, I'm back in the lobby and I hit the lobby button here to get back. So that's like my home page. The next area I wanted to talk about was many of you have registered for the different lectures and demos by our teachers and also the NJS tours. So everything that you have registered and paid for will appear in your session. So I've just clicked on the sessions button. So right here you see a column. Right now it's showing all the sessions that are available. Now I haven't registered for anything, but what's going to happen, um, our production company has a test session up so you can see what it'll look like. Anyway, um, so say you registered and paid for the test section. When you click on te test session, it'll open a new screen. If it's not time for the session yet, it'll just show you have to wait, it'll start soon, or if it's the next day, obviously it's not going to start soon, it'll start the next day. However, um, this is how you enter it. So on June 16th from 10 to 11, if that's the scheduled time, if you're there at like 10 minutes to or five minutes to, you click on this, you'll open a new screen as you see here, and it'll just wait, wait for you. Uh, you'll wait for it actually to start, and then it'll automatically start. Okay, now um, this isn't Zoom, so you're not going to have any controls other than you can write your questions in this chat box down here on the right hand side where it says chat. So you can ask questions here, type in your question. And most of our sessions will allow maybe five or 10 minutes at the end to do questions. And each session will have the presenter and there'll also be a second person as the host. Now the host's job is to introduce the session, give you a little housekeeping instructions, and then they will be keeping track of the written questions. At the end of the presentation, the host will read out the questions, so that will be out loud so all the audience can hear, and the presenter will answer the questions out loud so everyone can hear the answers. That way, um, you know, hopefully we'll have enough time at the end of each session that you get your questions answered. We'll do our best to answer as much as we can. Also, the chat will be saved. So most of our sessions are being recorded and probably about an hour after the live session has ended, the recording will be up in your sessions tab here and you can revisit it as many times as you want at whatever time of the day works for you up until um, the end of the day on Saturday, June 26th. So the Saturday after um, the event, then they will no longer be available. Okay. Um, so that's the way to, you know, if you missed it and you paid for it, you can see it at midnight if you'd like and whatever works for you. Okay. And the chats will be saved as well. So you can see any questions that were asked and the answers to those questions will be in the recording. Okay. So, um, if you log in initially and you don't see something that you feel you paid for, um, you can um, let um, Janet Casper, the registrar, know you have her email through her emails to you. 
There's also a, um, let me move this guy up here so you can see a little better. There's also a tech support here. So if you, anytime you're in this conference site and you're having some technical issues, you can all also reach out to tech support. Now they will be live, so to speak, on the site between 8 a.m. and 8.39 p.m. Eastern. So if you click it then, they'll be answering questions as fast as they can. Um, but if they're not on the session, you, as you can see, you can email them. So if it's midnight your time and they're in bed in Toronto, um, you can leave them a message and as soon as they get up the next day, they'll be answering you. Okay. So I'm going to go back down here with this so we can see the rest. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the lobby. And that tech, just to mention, that tech thing is always there no matter what page you're on. So it's good. You can always reach there. Now we've been to the exhibit hall, which is the Merchant Mall. The other um, place of interest for our attendees is the showcase, um, which also, if you've been to Quilt Canada's, you will know it by Quilt Galleries. So Quilt Galleries, Showcase, they're both the same area of the site. So let's take a visit over there. I click on Quilt Galleries and it's going to open a new page for me. Okay, on the column here, all the shows are listed that are being presented at this Virtual Quilt Canada. First off, we have each National Jury Show category listed separately because there's uh, over 200 quilts altogether and that would be a lot to scroll through in one area. So you can scroll down to see each, each um, area. Also, after you've looked at all the quilts, we do have the viewer's choice voting. So when it's time to vote, you're going to click on this one right here for National Jury Show Quilt, your favorite. It's going to open up a new window for you and you will um, type in the name and hopefully the quilter who made it so we make sure we have the right quilt for your vote. Um, that um, will take you to, uh, um, it, right now it's not set up, but it'll take you to a Survey Monkey survey where you type in um, who you're voting for. So make sure as you're going through the National Jury Show that you're keeping in mind that you're going to vote for your favorite quilt. Okay. And then you can write that in there. And that, that is viewer's choice award that will be announced at the closing ceremonies on June 19th. Okay. We have the opening ceremony and award ceremonies on the evening of June 16th, starting at 7 PM. It's a free event. You, you know, so if you've clicked off on your registration, you want to attend, it'll be on your list. In as I showed you under sessions, you'll click on it to join when the time comes 7 PM Eastern. It'll also be being recorded, so it'll be up later on your sessions tab. In addition, um, you know, the, there'll be award winners announced. There'll be daily door prize winners announced. Um, there'll be the Trend Text Challenge Award winners announced because they had judging uh, previously in May. So um, those will all happen that evening, the first evening of the event. We will not put we will not put the winners in this gallery until the next morning. So you no know, sneak peeking of the winners of the NJS until after the award ceremony. But when they are listed, they will be here. Okay. Next on the list is several concurrent shows. Some of them are outside organizations and some are CQA organization or events, so to speak. So we have a number of them here. Um, so let's go in to one just to show you. Okay. So when you enter any of these, um, galleries, you are going to, um, come into the, the, uh, quilt show. Of course, it's different than a live show. Wouldn't we all love to see, you know, quilts in person. However, given the current circumstances, we think you'll like the show a lot. So when you're ready to actually view the quilts, um, you are going to either click on this um, arrow here or you can make it a larger size down here. So let me click on this 
it becomes full screen. And now I, each slide I can look at as long or as little as I want, and I can progress through. This is telling us a little bit about the exhibit and about FAN, the organization. And then we get into the actual quilt. So here we see a photo of the quilt and we see a description. So you can scroll through at your own pace. You can go back, whatever you like. You can revisit it multiple times. Um, so I think that's it. And I can even go larger. I can go smaller. Okay. Okay. Now I'm back out. And again, I can go into each of these um, shows separately. Okay. Now we the last shows here listed are the CQA challenges. So we have the Trentex challenge, the youth challenge, and the individual member challenge ties of vine. So again, each of these you'll enter. You can go in, you can, you're going to vote for your, um, there'll be a place at the top. Now this show hasn't been loaded yet. Let me see if I can, uh, yeah. So these shows have not been loaded yet, but they will be here just like the others. And um, because they're challenges, they do have a viewer's choice award, which is up to you to choose your favorite. So once we have the pictures loaded, make sure you, as you're scrolling through and looking at them, uh, that you take note of the name of the quilt and the quilt maker, because they, once you have that, you'll be clicking on the vote tab. It'll take you to a new screen where you will type in the name of the quilt and the quilt maker that you are voting for viewer's choice. So keep that in mind. Okay. I'm going to go back to the lobby. That's, that's our home. And I'm going to show you a few other items here. Okay, down below those first boxes that we already went through, there's a couple related to the Merchant Mall, and then there's a thank you to sponsors. So here um, you have the daily specials. So merchants have sent to us listings of any specials that they're going to have on for the event. This has not been uploaded yet, but will be when the show is live. And you will click on here. It'll be an alphabetical list by shop. And below will list what their specials are. There'll be a link from the shop to their booth. And you will go to the booth. Please keep in mind that at this virtual event, there is no mechanism to purchase items on this website. You will head, if you're going to purchase an item from a particular vendor, They'll either instruct you or you'll head to their website and that's where you will do the purchasing. So it's on the individual websites, not in this platform. Okay. And they will deal with the shipping and all of that. It's up to each vendor. The other thing I mentioned earlier when we were doing a tour of the Merchant Mall was the vendor presentation. So here is going to be a master list of the schedule of those presentations. And these are free. Again, when you click on this box, during the event, another screen will open with a listing by vendor alphabetically and what they are having. So each day it might be different. So it'll be listed per day and you can decide what and if you want to go. Again, recall it's during that live video only takes a max of 25 people. So if it says a certain time, you might want to log into that a little bit earlier to ensure a seat. However, many of the vendors are doing similar presentations each day. So if you miss one, maybe one later that day or the next day might be one that suits you. So, um, and these are all free. So the next box here is our sponsors. And again, when this is live, we will have a list of the sponsors, both the corporate and our guild sponsors. So many of our member guilds have donated and our corporate sponsors have been ge very generous to us. So please take a look at them. And then down here, the corporate sponsors are listed. So just to um, give them thanks again for all of their support. Okay, let me see. I don't think...
So I, I'm going to conclude now. I think I've covered almost everything. Oh, maybe I didn't mention this public chat. So this is the lobby chat. Again, you can type in down here in this box, similar to other pages, but this chat will appear on the lobby page. So if you have a, a technical question, it's probably better to, as I showed before, go up to the tech support buttons here. But if you, you know, have a general question, um, please type it in here. We'll be watching this and answering questions, typing in answers as we can. Or if it's something that we think is a more private nature, we will um, private chat that individual who has left a message. So there's many ways to get a hold of us during the event, and we encourage you to do so. Okay, um, I think that's it. But I just wanted to emphasize if you haven't already registered, now you have a sense of what our conference is going to be like, and we hope that it encourages you to register before the deadline of June 15th at 3 p.m. Eastern. That'll be the last time that any registrations will be taken. And you can register on our website, canadianquilter.com, on the Quilt Canada tab. Oh. So please, we encourage you to attend this conference. For your $10 entry fee, even if you don't sign up for any of the paid sessions, you have access to the Merchant Mall with 95 booths, you have access to all the quilt galleries, and you have access to enter for those grand daily door prizes every day. So please, um, we welcome you to a Virtual Quilt Canada conference, a celebration of quilting. Thank you.